so though we call though we all look similar having two hands one head two eyes all are similar but still in the every reason the human and humanity is considerably changing only because of some or other facilities that they are getting even based on the thinking process and the knowledge systems so we need to work on the knowledge system we need to work on the thinking system and we need to work on the expressive system as well because in india though the children are very smart very sharp you know very innocent but the academic skills the way it has to be uh, delivered that innovation has to be at done so i expect why i am with you all is to create such events to create such tutoring models to create such lesson plans which can be a role model so we need to understand this ecosystem first of all so whenever you are entering so when you do the good wish is there to help indian children so it is not just coming and helping and tutoring and you know finishing the class it is all together a different magical way so we need to understand that first the psychology of the students and the facilities that students have and uh, their emotional system their intellectual abilities these all things have to be considered first so maybe it may because in certain things they are very much ahead than the us based students especially in the emotions especially in the innocence i have seen the innocence the level of if we if we measure the le level of innocence the level of love the level of care the level of uh, responsiveness we find much better in the rural students okay in, in many ways even considering not only uh, while considering with us or this even if any you consider those children even with indian urban uh, schools the rural school kids have the much better emotions than this one and that is also a real energy that you know human being can have so coming to the point of academics yes your live classes your live tutoring can make magic so we need orientation on that and we need a support system on that one an email from uh, your board members yesterday uh, listing out uh, all the subjects are very relevant only thing is you have to take care of three things uh, when you are delivering webinar don't make it one hour webinar okay whenever you are doing because for tutoring you can make one hour just note down some of the points that whenever you are doing this one so that would be a great help for all of you whenever you are doing any webinar or live events don't cross more than 20 minutes okay just cover that entire webinar within 20 minutes try to you know comprise all the things within 20 minutes and uh, bring out to the world with all your expressive skills plus using some ppts or some videos if you have you can share the screen even during your webinar self record it and send it to us the drive link so that you know we can edit little bit or if you can edit and give us that would be a great thing or if you are not editing give it to us the raw data then we'll edit it with the proper editables with our team and then we'll give back to you as well we'll put it in our you know the channels that what we will create for uh, this particular program so the first rule can be make it within 20 minutes refer some tedx talks you know tedx talks that how they are delivered how in 18 minutes everything is well done so in that 20 minutes consider that somebody not yourself somebody like mazia is introducing uh, jennifer or you know srishti is introducing mazia somebody has to introduce in one minute okay instead of self introduction make it somebody is introducing you so that that will give a good you know um, view to the users that it is not just a self made but it is prepared with a plan so somebody has to introduce you in one minute not more than one minute okay while introducing introduce you as a you know uh, student studying in this 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 and then having these skills and having you know working in this project and intending to do what is the intention behind delivering this topic that intention has to be told by the person who is introducing you the intention is very important and then this is the first rule okay the first rule is somebody is introducing you in one minute not more than one minute and then afterwards you can take over and for 20 minutes maximum if possible within 18 minutes you have to complete your webinar not more than that and uh, here almost i can see that some some uh, 
you have you have tried in 10 minutes as well in the live insta uh, things and some are there in 25 to 30 minutes instead of 25 to 30 minutes make it within 20 minutes and even the webinars can be done the live communication especially the live events when we are talking here when we talk about webinars and live events there are two aspects webinars are different live events are different and webinars are also can be live events you know about that if you all are using zoom especially the webinar version of it one you can even broadcast live on facebook you know and on uh, youtube you can broadcast if you don't know i can help you out that how in zoom that is done the same zoom even if when we are doing this one the same thing can be broadcasted at the same time on the facebook and on youtube as well so the same thing can be broadcasted the other way is other way is what you can do is you can record this session like how i am recording now you can record your own session and then give it to us as a webinar uh, content and then we'll edit it and host it that that is also possible or if you want to make it live event you can use zoom or you can use facebook live directly facebook live also you can use or you can use insta you can use anything and those content what you are saying here again try to make it the minimum conversation has to be three minutes okay the minimum conversation whenever you are coming live on insta ensure that for three minutes you are not leaving the panel okay three minutes you are not leaving the plan three minutes to 20 minutes is the the range that you can do with the insta as well facebook live or uh, the webinars if you are hosting it live make it 20 minutes you can host it live on the Facebook. You can host it live on LinkedIn if you have, because in the US, LinkedIn is permitting to get the live, uh, you know, programs. How many of you have LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn with you? How many of you have LinkedIn? Do you have LinkedIn? No, you are not on LinkedIn. How many of you are, are on Facebook? No. Hmm? How many of you are there on? Uh, and how many of you are there on uh, Instagram? Okay. okay, on Insta. So all the US based students are there on Insta then. So mostly you will be using Insta. Then sometime I can host your live event. You know, you just tell me whenever you want to deliver. I will be present at that time. Some of the webinars that you want to host. I will use my licensed version of Zoom. And then, uh, you know, we can host it on our uh, Facebook group as well. And if you have any other group, we can host it over there live. Okay. So that at the same time, webinar, we'll do it in Srishti. We'll do webinar in such a way that at least 20 people, 30 people from India also are joining at that time. Okay. Like how we all have joined. We'll ensure instead of making it just a one way uh, communication, we can make it uh, multidimensional. For example, you know all about because you are much technical. I know that. You can just pin pin the video like this and the people who are attending from india and us will be this thing so the person who is delivering he will be on the big screen and then the others will take it as a lesson at the same time these uh, live events live webinars can be recorded and re-hosted on our uh, social media we can give the links on the social media that is facebook linkedin we have linkedin page we have facebook page we need to nurture that as well so we'll post these webinars over there once it is recorded. So we are talking about two types of delivery. One is live Insta or live webinar. The live webinar can be on Zoom or we will find some other way also. If it is live Zoom, just let me know. I have a licensed version of webinar. I have paid for it one and I will make you as a host so that you will record your own content as well at the same time you can bring the people like all of us like how we have attended maximum 100 to 1000 people also can join live and then the teaching can be made a great possible success i'm not talking about the tutoring i'm talking about the live events am i clear to you all now am i clear if i am clear just make the uh, hands like this or like this hmm? okay so this is very good thank you so much so the first role we spoke about is Ensure that somebody is introducing you very nicely and you cultivate the system because that culture you have to cultivate how you want, how differently you want to cultivate like a radio jockey or like a TV anchor or like a simple great you know, uh, event introduction that all passion and fashion you have to bring in. 
okay make this event a successful one not a instead of making hello my name is santosh talagatti and i cannot do the, 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 not like this you know not like a crying mode or a suffering mode or a tension mode or something like that so bring the light and energy in that webinar because people are not just watching uh, you know uh, just not hearing your content they are looking at you they want to see how you speak they want to see how you present okay and whenever you want to do something make it a magical aspect and make it energetic uh, otherwise some people are there you know just they you know with phobia with fear just leave it and magia if possible srishti and you can create one small team if needed i'll also help train them instead of just giving a chance to present it before they present it no matter how expert speakers they are give them all the feedback instead of telling them teaching them don't do teach them what can be done you know what can be done in that 20 minutes that 20 minutes can do magic i am a speaker here in india in many uh, regional languages in kannada in marathi in hindi i have made magics on the stage performances okay so i know how important it is to come to the people and even use the word and ensure that words whatever you are using no abusive words are used because sometime you know we all are students and learners sometimes some words like you know fuck off and something you know certain words shouldn't be used you know we need to ensure that these kind of abusive words or some in negative negative words are not used we will try to use the right words uh, for the right forum because this is not a just live event we are going to record it and will be reused okay again and again for as a reference model to many students do in insta you must be in insta after two days three days it may disappear but what webinars you are conducting the live events you are conducting those will be recorded and be reused and i am going to share it with many teachers forum okay not only with students for your kind information srishti your webinars and your content will be also shared with indian teachers okay as a reference model as a you know as kind of a reference that how you know you all are doing let this task go to many people so the first rule is somebody is introducing you very energetically with respect and second thing you are ensuring that your entire package of delivery will be in 3 minutes or 20 minutes okay 3 to 20 minutes and it can be 8 minutes 10 minutes 12 minutes 15 minutes 18 minutes 20 minutes so the span is 3 to 20 minutes not more than 20 minutes because especially on the live events the the capacity of absorbing the content is maximum 20 minutes when that's why the many corporate uh, you know meetings and even the programs are now scheduled within 20 minutes especially when it is concerned with live events and third thing which is very very important very important the third thing is use some visuals whenever you talk you know use at least for 5 minutes 2 minutes 3 minutes 5 minutes 10 minutes you just decide in what way you want to use for example i will use my visual here can you all see this if you can see this you know make your hand like this yeah so let me yeah so this is just a visual that you know um, recently i presented it uh, to many people here so for example if i have a concept of digital university framework i want to create all together a new kind of university in the life because i have seen the university physically existing in the world where many students take admission they study there for one year two year three year four year or uh, even for six months and then they leave the university till now whatever we have experienced that is all about the physical universities and the physical colleges and the physical schools so i want to create such schools i want to create such colleges i want to create such universities which are completely digitally existed physically if you go and touch nothing is there but i want to create the augmented reality and the physical you know you you must be knowing about ar vr virtual realities and augmented realities so i want to create a completely artificial intelligence based augmented reality oriented virtually you know present a university where thousands of millions of students will take admission and we will train them and make india a great success and make this world a beautiful success so 
I am using this all uh, visuals uh, while I am presenting. Whenever I am talking about LMS, some people they put complete big content here. Okay, a very big content in these sliders. No need to put big big content here because people are interested in your words, not in those words. But just to give a cognitive feeling, what because sometimes people may not be having that kind of skill to absorb all what you are talking about. Some keywords, Maji, are you getting? Some keywords, not all the words, some key points, some keywords can be used as a reference points. Though you are talking about that, try to put it with one visual. I have just put it here as a text, but try to use one visual as well. Some good comic picture or some oriented picture, some visuals, okay, some picture on that particular uh, part of the study that you are talking about. So here I have just mentioned three words, education beyond. This is all enough for me. If you ask me to present something on education beyond, I can talk on this for one hour. Easily I can make people engaged in this topic and make them interested to listen, learn and love this topic. Outcome-based education, adaptive e-learning. So these things I can explain in detail. So when you are talking about that, just put it one visual and few keywords and then if you have if you want to use some reference points like how i have used one reference link here and so put some reference also and again the same same strategy and the slides can be again slides can be if you are talking for 20 minutes ensure that you are not using more than 20 slides or 18 slides okay if you are talking for 20 minutes if you are talking for three minutes use maximum three slides if you are talking for four minutes just use four slides it is based on the time limit if you are using five minutes maximum five slides in that five slides you may use only one slide as well it is up to you it is up to the organizer or the person who is talking on that how much we have to talk on that and how many slides you want to show and another interesting thing is whenever you are delivering no matter whether it is in english no matter whether it is in marathi or kannada or gujarati ensure that you give pause while communicating as well okay or no need to make it as completely dramatic like a news reader yes let us start an online education program live not like this you know? just make it as a person human oriented okay no need to copy someone you come up with your own style of delivery at the same time it, it shouldn't be like very slow like students i am going to talk about online education program not in this you know slow panel as well and not too fast as well come to your normal speed of your communication try to understand the normal pitch and if your normal pitch is something one minus one of that speed okay not minus 10 or suppose if i'm a good speaker in the physical reality i can speak in that way but understand that the people are live and they are not just before you so use some pauses so that they will get a relaxation time to absorb that content look into that content and whenever you say live events you know, make, make people engage in that, engaging sessions. So there are many ways of teaching this one. So I don't want to take much uh, time of yours on this, but I'm ensuring that you are following three simple rules, three simple rules to make it magical presentation. Okay. But when it is on live Insta, you don't have to use any visuals like this. Okay. It is a live, a live Insta is completely a different rule. For that it is about the live events that we are talking about live webinars when many people are sitting along with you like how we all are there now and um, we are talking about two different aspects one is live events on insta live events on insta you don't have to follow any kind of uh, you know introduction or you know uh, any the visuals these rules are not applied in live insta you can directly come with the energy and talk on the topic, you know, and then close the session within 10 minutes or maximum 20 minutes again. But the rule is maximum 20 minutes even on the live Insta. But those other rules like introduction, visuals are not necessary when you are using the live Insta for communication, for the live events. 
okay but ensure again the same rule that you will not use any abusive words you will you know uh, talk about the topic respectfully don't criticize any government us government indian government or this government this person because some you don't know in what way that can make a, a different uh, you know reality if you want to talk talk positive about something and if you want to talk negatively without abusing without criticizing much you can talk about that that i i, I don't like the system that why like you know, for example if i have to talk about the education system i can just say that i still don't understand that why exams are so compulsory for the children why can't we you know uh, give the focus on their learnings their expressions their creative skills can we also consider their emotions and goodness in the education system so that they will feel motivated so there are many ways to bring on the topic make it completely a heart oriented not just for the sake of talking we are talking okay not like that so it has to bring the energy and knowledge together if it is live insta coming to the point live webinar there are two types of events i said the live live insta kind of things that where directly you come and focus in the live webinar i am having the licensed version or someone of you have the webinar licensed version of zoom you can use that so that we can have such live events comprising more than 100 students as well at a time sitting like this and the person who is speaking can uh, you know now I, i will unpin now can pin his videos so that he can be seen in the larger screen and the others can be there and when again the communication starts interaction starts at that time he can just unpin himself unpin himself so that everybody will be seen in the boxes and will mute all and perfectly deliver it take it as a practice session okay no one is going to judge you okay no one is going to judge you here no one is going to criticize you here no one is going to abuse you here so just be relaxed at the same time consider that when it is live events it is not only teachers it is not only students who will listen to it it is society okay it is society who is going to listen to your live events though initially we are bringing our interns and also our volunteers and also some of my friends and teachers and students but at the end it is going to be with the entire world when we talk about the webinar and live events because that is what the platform is so about tutoring there would be altogether a different webinar okay mr ravi will be conducting and even i will be adding some of my values in that so i will conclude this webinar with again the thought of introduction and also uh, the the mode of communication with enthusiasm and with energy show the energy in your eyes show the energy in your hands you don't have to make your hands like this like how i make you know sometimes because that's my passion so you don't have to use like this but you can follow your things but at the same time try to bring one or two times the hands like this you know let people think otherwise we are just sitting like this and just talking you know like, like the, 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 the only our lips are moving so not that way so make a little bit moving and also charming session and enthusiastic session in this way so i hope i have covered all the parts of webinar and the end audience will be the live people who are attending they are the audience once it is recorded it would be shared with teachers and students and also in the network circle okay so now it is time for you to ask any question but before end up the question or before ending up this session i would like to just say that we spoke about two types of live events one is live insta kind of things where there is no introduction necessary no visuals are necessary you can come and you can interact you can change the people you can deliver it from namaskar and also from giving teens some people can be you know uh, if srishti is on giving teens somebody machia can be on namaskar if srishti is on namaskar uh, shreya can be on giving teens so you decide and some others can be with their own accounts even i would like to attend some of your the sessions live with my own account okay but the person who is delivering ensure that they are using the proper platform so that the message message will go from the platform okay message will go from the platform as a receiver you can join from the namaskar or as a deliver as well both the things are you getting my point if srishti wants to say something or if arushi wants to say something she can use the namaskar or if arushi wants to listen something okay she wants 
Sophia to talk on something and she wants to be a receiver, then also she can use the Namaskar platform. So the Namaskar platform can be either a receiver or a deliver. Hmm? You can you can decide, Masia. You want to use Namaskar as a receiver, sometime you can use it as a receiver, sometime you can use it as a deliver. You got you know the difference, no? Deliver means one who is talking on something. If Prashad wants to say something, he can use his own account or he can use his the Namaskar account. So you decide the term and more. So I will not interfere in that. It is your freedom. The the necessary uh, credentials will be shared with your board team. Okay, you can decide in what way you want to do it. Second, coming to the webinar point, I have a licensed version. If you have licensed version, you can use your licensed webinar version because Zoom is not just a Zoom. It has a licensed webinar version as well, which we can share it on live, on Facebook and on YouTube. So we can do that as well. We have a group and we have in fact bigger groups. So we can engage even in that. And there the three rules are there, three simple rules. One, introductor. You know, the one per the person who will introduce is very important and he will introduce that other person who is going to speak in one minute. Second, the person will speak with very enthusiasm. If you are in depression, if you are in not in the good mood, don't deliver it just for the sake of delivering. Just request your board member saying that not, I am not in the mood now. Can I do it after half an hour or after one hour? You know, let me, you know. This thing. When you are in the mood, then only you do it because your mood is very important. Your enthusiasm talks much better than your words. Okay, so always come up with great spirit. And third rule is use visuals. Okay, if you are using for three minutes, if you are talking for three minutes, three slides maximum. If you are talking for 20 minutes, maximum 20 slides. Okay, and try to focus on those visuals where you are much you know capable with uh, of that topic. And this way, I have just shared some of my thoughts, some of my experience. Thank you for listening to me patiently on this topic. And I hope this webinar is what you have planned. I have seen the content, very beautiful content. You know, I just started believing, you know, one of my dream in my life was giving chance to the students, global students, and making this global classroom possible through you, Srishti, through you, Majia, through you, Ira, through you, all the students, Rashad, and you know, whoever all there, through you, the great dream of India is coming true because the global network is an essence. Do it even if we are, you know, failing in certain things. You know, we'll forgive each other. No need to punish anybody. No need to be, you know, sad about anybody. We just forgive them and we'll take it ahead. Okay, and we'll fill the spirit. So we'll care each other and we will teach each other and we'll greet each other. In this way, we'll make our webinars a great success. And the Srishti, though you are planning per week, what you have to do is just imagine that in next three months, in next two months, we are targeting particular number. And then when you target some number, automatically we'll reach about that. For example, we are going to make 50 webinars in next two months. Or for example, we are going to deliver 100 webinars in next uh, two months have some number in mind because that numbers will always push you. Thank you very much. Now the session is over. Now next 10 minutes are for questions and answers. Namaste. Just a minute and the person has. आपको नमस्ते करना चाहिए थैंक यू um, I had a question. So on the Instagram live streams, there's an option for a live chat. So should we be using that as well to communicate with the viewers or is that you can have a test because you know especially just let me know whenever you are going for live insta i will tell the indian interns as well they are your friends and to ensure that they will join you so that the team would be bigger we'll we'll make this as a planned one so that if you uh, give us a, a small visual of that saying that you know today uh, isha is going to talk on this topic if you give me that 
then even I will share it with some of my interns. So they will be there. So then you can use the chat system and then we'll, because sometimes in live events, there is possibility, you know, not as a negative thing, if some strange people enter in just to corrupt the entire you know, system or just to disturb the entire system, sometimes they may make some noisy messages. So to avoid that, you know, we'll make it as a planned one, then you can use your chat system. Okay, no problem. But you can dare to do that, no problem, no, nothing to hide here. Just come up with uh, all that what you want. And if your experience doesn't go well with chat, then you can stop the chat and then continue it only. Yeah, thanks. You can experience with that. Okay. Next. Hi, I'm Tiana. Um, so I was just wondering how many people do you estimate are going to be on the webinar? And like, are you going to get the kids in too? Yeah, it's a very wonderful question. As I said that, you know, initially we will make this webinar with the teens like you. Okay, let the teens join. Let them come together and join this one. And we'll start with a smaller group. We can make a classroom join this one. Are you getting it? I can, we can call a classroom. Directly a classroom we can join. Okay, directly a classroom. One entire classroom we will be teaching. Okay. That will be amazing experience. And at a time we'll be teaching to two as I said, we will start with our own friend circle, own interns, and then friend circles, and then the circle will be extended to teachers and talents, and then it will be extended to children, I mean school kids, and then it will be extended to the ultimate reach will be classrooms, okay? You will be handling the webinar with classrooms, finally. Hmm? So that is the ultimate goal. You got your answer, Tiana? Okay? Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you. Next, Surya, Srishti, Jennifer, Isha, Sophia, Masia, Prashad, Arushi. I used to take God's names in the morning. So now I started taking the you know, children's name here. That's really great thing. So are you happy with this session? Huh? It was, was it informative and what is, was it useful to you all, Prashad? It helped you? Yeah. So let me know if you have any questions on this one. I am accessible on my WhatsApp. Already I have shared with you. Okay. You can even uh, think of creating, suppose, suppose if it is a dedicated team for a long time, we can even create the subgroups on live events, on tutoring and on this one so that we all will be in the network mode of the communication. So best of luck to you all for this wonderful journey of creativity. Do it passionately. I am with you with all my knowledge, you know, with all my skills and with all my respects towards your contribution. Let us make this event a great success.